Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? Um, I want to welcome you guys to the first episode of the recap. Basically, all this is is just a more relaxed video style that I wanted to do every Sunday. It's um, recorded on Sunday and then uploaded Sunday night. Just letting you guys know on how the week went. I actually did film one a while ago, just never ended up posting it. But since it's been a while, um, since I've uploaded, um, the last thing you guys seen is the Rickroll on April Fool's Day, but before that it was my moto vlog talking about me leaving. And so, I am back. I'm not sick, even though I don't feel the greatest today. I'm not sick, I don't have it, but um, right now things I'm working on, I am working on finally editing the vacation vlogs. Um, some of the islands I filmed on, some of them I didn't. But, so those are being uploaded. I have a new moto vlog that I have uploaded, or about to start editing here soon. Once I'm done filming this and getting this uploaded, I actually am working on some videos for my website for a school project. And, really, that's all the future stuff going on. Things that have happened this week in particular. I filmed my moto vlog um, because it's spring now and I'm finally able to go out riding which is nice. I had a mock online interview for my IT apprenticeship program to become what they consider career ready so I do a mock interview online since a lot of schools across the country are closed and I killed it. Literally I got my, um, my feedback sheet today and literally there was not a single thing she said I needed to work on. So I'm fine with it because they're career ready. So when it comes down to the interview, the real interview process, I have to wait and see what these companies think of my resume and whether some of these companies get to choose whether or not they want to um, interview people or not. They just look at my resume, go based off the notes that the um, career center says about you, and then they can pick if they want to interview you. So hopefully I'll get an interview for every company or at least two of them. I'm praying I get at least two interviews, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited for that. I'm glad because I was really nervous to do my online interview. Um, I did kind of wait almost towards the last minute, but um, I, I feel like I have really good people skills when it comes to talking to um, people. So I was, it's just all that nerves build up until it actually starts. So killed that, and I actually do have an unboxing for you guys on this so this little unboxing is just something that I decided to add to my room I feel like it was something that was essential um, whether it actually is I don't know but before I forget I just want to thank the sponsor of the channel Rogue Energy if you guys seen the commercial I posted forever ago Rogue Energy is a it's almost like a gamer um, pre-workout but really I mainly use it as a way to help me focus up later in the afternoon when it's starting to get tired I really need a grind on some last minute projects or editing that's when I typically try to drink it it has some focusing elements um, just because it's like I said it's a gamer drink it's supposed to make you more hyper aware when you're playing it also gives you a lot of caffeine just like a pre-workout does but not as much as a pre-workout it's really the perfect all-around balance for just trying to get through that last little hurdle between you and either getting that kill streak that you're trying to or trying to get that school report done or just trying to get that video edited. So again, I'd like to thank Rogue Energy for sponsoring not just this channel but me as a whole. They sponsor this channel, my second channel where I stream and as well as my Instagram. So I just wanted to say, if you use code MYLIFERONING on RogueEnergy.com, you'll save 10% off your next order. But let's get into this unboxing. So, we have an Amazon box. And I ordered this on, I want to say, Friday at work. Or Thursday. Um... No, it was definitely Friday. And it was scary because all this stuff was a, was prime items, but it told me it wasn't going to be here until April 23rd. Then it said Monday the 
8th? No, no, Monday the 6th. And then it ended up coming yesterday. So I got my little unboxing knife, and we're going to open this up. So I know everything that's in here, but I'm excited to share it with you guys. So we'll get the boring thing out first. We got a Amazon Basics, um, what's it called, surge protector, um, extension cord, whatever you want to call it. But I just needed a new surge protector so I can add more outlets to behind my TV. Yep, say Amazon Basics surge protector. Just to add more outlets for this new thing that I got, which these have been on a rising trend recently. I'm not sure how many of you guys at home have them. But I was like, you know what? We'll, we'll get one. We'll try it out. Especially since it's getting summertime or springtime, which means it's sometimes it's going to be humid, sometimes it's going to be dry in my room. But I still want my room to smell good and feel good. So. What I ended up buying was a, I think it's an Indio Gear um, oil diffuser. Yeah, Eno Gear um, oil diffuser. So I think this is like a 200 milliliter one. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this thing out. And obviously, when you buy the cheap ones, you also have to buy the oils. So I got the Pure Aroma. Um, I think this is a 10 pack of oils, which let's see, it comes with sweet orange, lavender, tea tree, lemongrass, peppermint, and eucalyptus, so it's a 6 pack. Overall, I spent about $36. The surge protector was 10, the oils were 10, and the um, diffuser was 15. All items were prime, and like I said, originally it told me it was going to be almost like a two to three week late time, but it ended up coming in two days, so I'm excited. I can kind of, just by taking that wrapping off, already smell the, smell some of them. Let's see. Yep, so just six essential oils. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Um, if I think it's something that I really want to promote to you guys, I will. But, you know, that will be in the future. But, yeah, that's really all that's in for this unboxing. And, yeah, just things to look forward to here shortly is I will start to post probably once I get my next school project done for my website. I'll start posting my website link in the description so you guys can take a look. And I will also do a breakdown on how you guys can see my code if you want to download it, play around with it, that kind of stuff. But either way, I know this video isn't as like high production, or when I say high production, like it's not super edited, it's not like it's a vlog. I'm not really upright and like attentive, trying to give you guys, this is just a relaxed vibe, that's all this is. Hopefully I'll be able to post these every Sunday. Just like keeping you guys up to date with what's going on with me and the channel. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, I will talk to you guys later. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. And also leave a like. It just makes my self-confidence go up. If you want to follow me on my second channel to see gaming videos and a little bit more off content that you're not going to see on this channel, feel free to follow me on my second channel right up here. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, be a part of my close friend group, you can follow me up here. Or if you want to follow me on my any other socials, if you want to see my photography, right down here. Or if you just want to see any random things I tweet, right down here in this corner. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.